Hey, what are you reading these days? I just finished reading Peter Scazzaro's book, Emotionally Healthy Discipleship. The subtitle says, we're moving from shallow, shallow Christianity to like deep transformation. Rolling in the deep. Part of what I love about Peter Scazzaro's book is that it's full of personal stories, historical stories, anecdotes and analogies. I finished the book once, but I think I, I read and reread the book several times because it's like a good song when you realize you're not appreciating it as much as you should, so you, you start the song over. Uh, that's how many of the paragraphs and chapters were in this book. So I had to start them over again so I could appreciate it more. One of the most powerful quotes in the whole book for me is when Peter Scazzaro talks about defining a, a successful church. When we define success wrongly, it means our best energies will be invested in things such as like cutting edge weekend services or cultivating our brand and preparing captivating messages, which all right, Pete, you got me. <laughs> I would love to spend my energies in those things. And that is part of church life, but that's not all of it. And it doesn't need to require all of our best energies because as Peter Scudero says, little is left over for discipleship, our own or that of others, especially when it produces what appears to be such small, slow return. With little time left to invest in the messy work of discipleship, we do the next best thing. We standardize discipleship and make it scalable. Our approach resembles more of like a conveyor belt and a manufacturing plant than the kind of relational discipleship Jesus modeled for us. We like standardization. Jesus preferred customization. All right, so take a look. It's in a book. Check out Peter Scazzaro's Emotionally Healthy Discipleship to help you move from shallow Christianity to deep transformation.